Okay, fabulous. So I wanted to start by asking you both some questions. Um, silent films are largely a thing of the past and most contemporary films are very heavy on dialogue. But a Quiet Place franchise reminds us that an image or moving images holds a thousand words. So what I'm really curious about is as actors, what was this experience like for you and if it was more difficult now to have to convey a message because you can't you can't rely on dialogue as much? Mm. I would say that um, at, when 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 acting, you are using more than just what's what's on the page to get the message mm. across. I think one of the jobs of us, uh, 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 one of our jobs, is to read between the lines and to find the the subtext in a script. And so we this was a refreshing sort of um, challenge because we didn't even have dialogue to read between right and so it kind of like strips away the easier way that we communicate and reveals um, the underbelly of how we communicate which is uh, really like primal right we use our bodies we use our facial expressions and um, in them is couched so much more meaning than words can offer so it was a challenge because you can't prepare in advance and come and do the one performance you thought um, you, uh, was right for the scene you have to be really present with your scene partner in every mm -hmm. take to ensure that you're responding to the nuances of what they're presenting and I, I really enjoyed that challenge okay and this was obviously a very mentally and physically tasking uh, film to do, I imagine. It's horror, it's thriller, it's action. How did you prepare yourselves psychologically and physically for such, you know, such a role, such a film? I think, well, personally speaking, it seemed very clear from the script that it would be very reliant on what happened on the day, because this dynamic, these, these two strangers that collide in the film, so much of what they're trying to communicate to each other is, uh, unsaid as, as you mentioned and you had to kind of just allow that to happen on the day and to mm. surrender to it uh, it was made all the easier to do that because we had a wonderful leader in michael who uh, mm. led us with a lot of uh, bravery and kindness and made it a very safe space for us to try and i mean yeah, make a lot of mistakes uh, but then through doing that you can come close to something that felt truthful yet also honoring uh, the stakes of the film, which were very high. It was a w very specific and um, strange exercise, but very rewarding, mm. ultimately. That's amazing. And last question, I'm curious as to what takeaway you want the audience to have after viewing the film. I mean, I think, you know, we, with, with any film, but with a film like this, uh, we don't want to be prescriptive, you know? We've done the work, we care very deeply about it, and uh, we're proud of what we've done, and now it's time for the audience to take over and, you know, and to take from it what they will. I hope people enjoy themselves. I hope that they're, they're moved. I definitely hope that they're startled and even sometimes scared. Um, I hope that they enjoy the communal experience. I definitely hope they go to the cinemas to see it because this is a mm -hmm. film that lends itself to that sort of communal experience, that immersion into the soundscape of, of, of this movie. I think it's unique and therefore worth uh, seeing in the cinema. And uh, I can't wait to hear what people think. Thank you so much for your time, and I look forward to everyone being blown away by this incredible film. Thank you.